Good evening guys and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. So I realized guys I don't have a Meyer haul for you guys. I didn't even like say anything to my dad and I forgot actually that we were kind of not that we were planning on going to Meyer, but like we didn't have anything going on today that we had to do because like the last couple Mondays we haven't been able to go to Meyer on Monday which is what our plan is because we've always had something going on at least like the last two weeks or so it seems like so anyways um like I said we are not we didn't end up going to Meyer today um but I actually got a bunch of laundry done well not a ton of laundry I got some laundry done I got a bunch of dishes washed as well um and then I also I didn't really get to edit or uploading today but one of the reasons was because um you know our renovations that we're doing upstairs and we're rewiring everything um me and my dad were working on that again today um so he ended up getting home from work and like picked jack up and everything and then we ended up going upstairs and probably spent a good at least hour to two hours um upstairs working on all of that so my dad just got all of the cables like the wiring um like prepared I guess nothing is like like live um upstairs except for I think the outlets and like the stuff that was there already um we didn't touch anything with but all of the new stuff that we're adding we ran the wires for we just actually have to like connect it <laughs> to the actual like power um but all of that is set up um so that we're able to do that so we got all of that um like I think pretty much all of the stuff that um was new that we're putting in or outlets that we're moving but there are some that we're getting rid of um so like because we're moving them to a different spot and so because of that those ones like we didn't touch so all the new ones that we planned out on where they're gonna go um we did all of that today um just like I said not anything that was existing but some of that stuff is either being moved or I don't think any of it no actually i think there's at least two outlets that are saying everything else i think is either moving or we're just getting rid of the outlet from that spot and for the most part kind of moving it um so because like there's two against one of the walls so we're moving one of those to under the window because my parents are going to do like a little um like book nook kind of reading nook spot upstairs um and so we're going to do it that underneath like where the window seat is kind of going to Go, but I think we're just doing my mom's um she's gonna have her hope chest it's gonna be up there so that is gonna be moved to like that spot um it's gonna be moved underneath the window but there's two against that wall we're only just moving and keeping the one but we're moving it to a different spot I think the wire we're somehow moving it I think to connect the ones against the other wall so um it's good that there was an outlet there I guess because now we can have enough like slack that we're able to actually run it without having to run new um like on new wire we can use the existing one I think I, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure but I think that was what my dad was saying so um anyways we did end up getting that done today and then also two guys um bravo he has got a vet appointment tomorrow don't you bravo do you have a vet appointment you don't even want to know anything about it he is not even gonna look at me <laughs> um he is passed out right now so yeah he we are taking all the dogs this week and next week took the guinea pigs last week um we just decided we'll schedule all of their you know appointments that they need right now especially since we found this new vet because i think i'm telling you guys our old vet it was really weird ever since the pandemic we do not allow for scheduled appointments which is really weird and so my mom had tried to take them actually a couple times over I think over the pandemic and um I don't remember why she was trying to take Charlie for something I don't remember if he did something or like like it wasn't an emergency but like she wanted to get checked out or something like that I don't know if it was like or if she was just taking him in for like a checkup or something like that but she tried to take him a couple times and both times the wait was like so long earlier like again this was probably at least over a year ago um when she was trying to take them they weren't letting anybody into the lobby and they weren't letting anybody into the um the vet's office like with the pet and then they take them inside or whatever and then I don't even know how they contacted you like 
about like if it was just over like phone call or something like that but um they like it was just really really bizarre like and I, I get that like for precaution and stuff like that it's kind of smart um you know by like not allowing people into the building you know other than you know the employees and stuff like that and just taking the animals but like my mom was saying too our dogs have super like especially Charlie he has really really bad anxiety like separation anxiety so if we were to just hand him off to a complete stranger and then they go and they take him and start poking and prodding him and all kinds of stuff he probably would be really really freaked out so she tried to take him a couple times and he also gets car anxiety so while she like even driving him and taking him in the car he's like freaking out like looking out the window jumping around you know he didn't want to sit in one spot and all this kind of stuff so when she gets there though he's doing the same thing like he is running around in the car and trying to get all over the place and she said she was sitting there one time for like several hours and they never they were taking other people before her and so she even called to check to make sure like do you guys still have us on the schedule and they're like oh yeah we do but you know like we had other like I don't know what they said it was something weird like they were like we have other more emergent cases before you but they're not an emergency vet and so like but they were willing to take other like pets before but it's like on a first come first serve basis but they pushed her back like I don't know why and so if it's an emergency though they should take them to like the emergency vet and not to their local vet unless like they already like have an appointment but you can't schedule an appointment until you're like already in the parking lot and like schedule your animal like again if it's on a first come first serve basis I don't know it was just really weird and it was really difficult to get the dogs in to go and see a vet so the place we ended up finding which I told you guys was like really weird because it was it's really hard to find an exotic pet to vet um which is what you have to take a guinea pig to when we rescued the guinea pigs we had to like have a you know like a new vet for them um and have like a scheduled like you know um kind of just like um so that like get them in the system kind of thing for like a vet so if something were to come up we you know can take them to them um and they have records and stuff like that of them so um we ended up doing that with them after again I think that was like a week after we adopted them um and then when we found them we found out that the exact same vet that we saw with the guinea pigs that we really liked actually does um dogs and cats as well we thought that was like just specifically exotic pets but it's not he does like everything so um I think pretty much all pets <laughs> so that's awesome we're able to get appointments with him with him for the dogs for like I said this week and next week um which ends up again working out really well because we can actually make appointments with this vet um instead of and we know when we're going in and we're taking them and again too we sit in the lobby for maybe like 10 minutes honestly I think it was even less time than that with the guinea pigs when we were there you know and then they just they see us instead of all this other like jumping through hoops to try and see all of this you know like again on a first come first serve basis we have no clue if it's going to be like 10 minutes or like 10 hours you know and again too our dogs are not comfortable you know sitting in like because I think now they'll let you in the lobby but it's the same thing like they'll they're they're like freaking out you know like they they have anxiety especially being in a place where they're not normally at um, and so again, that's why we decided we're, you know, <laughs> we're not doing that anymore. So we ended up switching vets and now we're getting them all seen for the first time by this vet. Um, so that's what we're doing tomorrow. But because of that, I wanted to give Bravo a little, um, I was gonna say a little little salon hair trim but um no he didn't get his hair trimmed I just ended up brushing him because honestly right now the dogs are shedding like crazy because their um their fur coats their winter coats are you know kind of <laughs> coming out so there there's hair all over the place really bad right now and Bravo looks kind of like you know um all the dogs really they, <laughs> they look like they needed a little bit of a fur brushing so I ended up doing that too so that he can get all ready to go and be seen by the vet tomorrow um so and I'm going to probably do Charlie like because honestly it took me a good half an hour or so where I was just sitting there brushing him out and the thing is that I actually would probably say no I think Bliss has longer hair and then or like her fur length is a little bit longer and I think her not it's not that it's longer I think hers is thicker I think Bravo's his hair is more thin but his hair is sort of longer and Charlie has very very thin very very not 
thick fur at all like I think he has got the like he in his very smooth coat like Bliss is very um I don't know how to describe it like um like she has very like thick kind of um and not like coarse hair but just like her uh like coat is very very thick um and like sort of longer a little bit but um like it's, it's funny I think Bravo's is a lot longer so I ended up doing that with him today as well and so we'll see how Bravo likes this vet tomorrow but um hopefully he'll do okay I honestly kind of almost wanted to like take Charlie first. I just feel like Charlie would probably do better. Like, I think he has worse anxiety, but I feel like he actually really likes people. Bravo is not so much of a people person. <laughs> so I think that Charlie will be really freaked out about like, you know, um, even the car ride he just gets freaked out about. <laughs> but um, I feel like he will be more nervous of the vet, um, especially like a new vet. I feel like Charlie would enjoy the vet more than Bravo because Bravo is not really like a <laughs> people person. I feel like Bravo will do better though, like at the vet in the car ride in general but I don't think they'll do so well with the vet um and I think Charlie will have the opposite I think he'll be really freaked out about being in the vet and he already freaks out about car rides but I think that he'll be really good with the vet and so I kind of wanted to flip-flop them at least so that I kind of knew like Bravo to me is more unpredictable I don't really always know like what his reaction is going to be to stuff whereas like Charlie I do and um like, but I just think he'll be, uh, like, freaked out over, like, again, being in a strange place and being in the car and all that kind of stuff. Whereas, I think Bravo will do fine with that. It's just, he's not, you know, like I said, he's not a huge people person. And so, I don't know how, you know, again, he's gonna enjoy all of that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, we're going there tomorrow. And hopefully, that doesn't end up taking too long. But, we're very thankful that we have a, a vet now that I think I was telling you guys to not only again to do they do exotic animals they do cats and dogs and you know all that kind of stuff but they're also an emergency vet so if anything were to happen like the one time when Bliss got a hold of all that gum and ended up eating it we had to bring her in because um the contents of the gum had I think it's called xylitol or xylitol or something like that and um it's a sugar-free gum and so that's the like sugar alternative um and it's really really bad for dogs because it drops their blood sugar i think um or drops their blood pressure or something like that like really really low really fast and they can like go into like I don't know shock or you know like something really quickly and so we had to bring her there for an overnight stay once to a different um emergency vet that was like super super far away this one is also too it's the closest vet that I think we've ever actually been to we had no clue how close this was and it's actually just a couple streets down from the jewel we shop at so it that was like awesome because um, we're not very far away from it and again too it's not a long drive for the dogs either so that's another like benefit to being very close is that we don't have to worry about them um you know freaking out about you know like the car ride so it's really close is about like maybe a 10 minute at most drive um but you know they should be pretty you know hopefully a little bit more calm in the car for that and like I was saying too they're also an emergency vet so I think the one we took Bliss to was like almost a half an hour away um this one was again you know it's it's so much closer which is so nice so if anything were to happen like that again we can bring them there and they'll already have records of the dog so they can always pull that up like if we were to find out oh yeah Bravo has an allergy like you know they would all, always have that you know most likely on record if we ever have to bring them in for some type of an emergency situation um into the emergency vet which is pretty cool so um like I was saying we've got that to go to tomorrow so I'm going with my mom to go and do that which normally she kind of has always handled like taking the dogs to the vet her and or my dad I don't typically end up going with so like I said this is a, a new experience for me and I <laughs> want to see how Bravo like I said handles the situation um and maybe though he'll with me being there he'll be like a lot more calm and you know that kind of stuff but um anyway so I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.